I'm Phase 3 in. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. So <laughs> don't fall out. Then we'll get started. Okay. My name is Calvin Jean Cox. Uh, I live in Hazel Green, Alabama. Uh, I'm, I don't usually tell my age, but I will this time. I'm 86. <laughs> Almost 87. I was in motion picture work out here on the Redstone Arsenal. I was a motion picture film editor back in the 50s and 60s and 70s and the 80s. The fact that I did get into motion picture film, I don't know how I did it, but uh, I was in service and they decided to put me in motion picture film. I guess they didn't know what else to do with me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, that's exactly what I did and I truly enjoyed it. I was a singer as a young boy and then I was on TV when it first came out as a singer. Honest to goodness. Uh, I could write a book, but and you, and I, don't I don't know, know you if you call it X-rated or not nowadays. I was about to say, you got into some trouble. <laughs> you want to talk about that? <laughs> Which trouble? Which one? So they, they called us to come and make a motion picture film that would reflect why the TNT plant had to be there. Yep, in Chattanooga. So we went up there and we went in, after we got started, a few people got kind of nervous about doing it. So one of the cameramen, he, he said, I gotta run. So he left the room. And so I, I, I never ran the camera before. So I went over and started running his camera. So we finished it, but uh, then we finished the Ch Chattanooga Volunteer film, which was, was televised and so, the people at the Pentagon, the Chattanooga Volunteer film was not a, a favorite of theirs. I don't know if they'll do if you want to hear this or not, but anyway, some of the uh, senators at first was going to back us, but then they decided it might be just let this film show for itself. And I think it was well received. Uh, I came back to Huntsville and I got an award for it. I was really appreciative of that. Uh, I've, I've received quite a few awards in motion picture work, and that was wonderful. The film meant everything to you. We were doing a film training aids for the government, and we worked with different people like William Shatner, Peter Graves, the captain on Gilligan's Island, and I truly enjoyed meeting them all. Linda Day George came and she kissed me. And I ran up and down the hall dancing. I said, she kissed me, she kissed me. It was just wonderful. When, when I started out motion picture film, it was like a, with a film bin. And you put your film all in that bin and you started making a motion picture film out of it. One scene at a time. Nowadays, you get on a, a computer and, and you roll it and you decide, cut here, cut there. But in the old days, you had to sit with a pen in your hand and you mark the film. And, and you'd cut it to, to, to meet just exactly what you wanted it to do. So I would have maybe three or four hundred scenes in a film. But each one had to be individually done. I do not know how many films I worked on in my lifetime. I know there was quite a few, but I think, I think that's the reason why I like picture puzzles. It's like piecing each thing together. I do people that way. I take little pieces that I pick up about you today, I add it to what I already know about you, and I just keep adding. It's like a puzzle, and that's the way I've gone through life. The sound of industry was the hum of cotton gins. But today, the sound of industry and progress in this community is the bellow of a rocket motor. I know I was in a few scenes of myself, and I truly enjoyed it. Oh, 
boy was a surprise to see it because I figured that was gone, you know, forever. I mean, I never thought that it would still be around. I was amazed to see myself. Tears came in my eyes because I remembered seeing it. I, I was so shocked that I, I never thought that I would ever see that, you know, again. Once you saw it, did you remember like actually being there? Oh yes, oh yes. I felt young again. I mean, I really did. I, 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 I relived it because there were so many people that are, 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 were departed now compared to then. And it was just wonderful to see them again on the screen. See, oh my gosh, how did I look back then? Because <laughs> as you get older, you do change, believe me. <laughs> but they, it was so wonderful to relive mm -hmm. that moment in time. Well, how does it feel? Because I know that that is a bit of a difficulty now, thinking about reliving the past, because we had talked earlier about either trying to get some of the, uh, the films that you have still digitized or find a projector, and you are worried that, that that wouldn't work and that they wouldn't be able to be watched again. Well, they'll never be able to be seen again, I don't think. I, I don't think there's too many still around, really. Uh, uh, the, the people I knew are gone. It feels strange to me that I'm still here. Life keeps on going. Uh, I, I'm not depressed. I, I'm, I'm be, in fact, I'm very happy. I'm in fact happier now than I've ever been. I enjoyed my time in motion picture film. As I grow older, I seem to enjoy looking back. I have all my memories. So, I've gone through life, I think, just really happy. Uh, this part of my life is the happiest part of all. You know, when you get to be 86, you think, well, it's all in your past. Mm -hmm. But, this is right here in my future. You take everything, don't take it serious, have a good laugh over everything. That way you'll live longer. <laughs> you certainly will. And besides, if you don't, you can still have a good laugh. <laughs>